Good morning. It's Wednesday, February 10th, 2021. I'm Steve Rand. This is Tim Murphy, Scott Still Bullion and Coin. Tim, uh, we've been seeing a lot of volatility in silver over the last few weeks, especially, and really it's culminating into a lot of speculation on what exactly is going to happen. And I want you to kind of explain a little bit about what you're seeing from your side of the market. Well, what's happening, it's a fascinating time. It's, you've got the JP Morgan and Goldman Sachs and a number of, of Wall Street bullion banks, that's what they call them, are going into, these, uh, into the silver market, into the gold market, and through derivatives, and through selling of paper products, they are uh, able to keep, suppress the price of silver and gold as well. So um, this is something that's been going on for 25 years. It once was thought maybe a conspiracy theory. Now it's fact. Everybody knows that this is happening. So uh, that has been suppressing the price, the paper price of, of silver. But um, we also have a physical market. And that's been telling us a different thing, and and that leads me to ask Steve, what about the physical market? What do you you do all the buying and selling for our company for SBC Gold? What do you see in the, on the physical side? Well, the first thing I can tell you is that there's nowhere near enough physical supply out there to meet the demand right now. We're having long delays on certain products that we're even not, not even able to get right now, and other products that we do have delivery of, and we're able to you know to get out to our clients, but. The margin between the, or not so much the margin, but, the, but the, the separation of the physical price and the paper price is pretty dramatic. And sometimes people, when they call us or they look around just you know, online at other companies, they'll see that the price of physical has separated pretty dramatically from the paper price. So these companies are doing what they can to try to get uh, product out to us. The mints, the US mint, the Canadian mint, the Perth mint are all suspended production, are not able to keep up with demand right now. And it's really showing us how weak the physical supplies out there are. And speaking of that, I, I want to ask you, like, you know, we've seen this happening for years, like you mentioned with, with JP Morgan and the other bullion banks. How long can we expect that this to continue? Because they need physical supplies to be able to do this and keep this price suppressed. Yeah, it's a great question. And it really shouldn't be much longer. The, the top people I follow, the experts that really know what's, what's going on behind the scenes, they're all on the edge, uh, edge of their seats right now. They, they see the waning supplies at the at all levels, the wholesale level, the retail level in this country, around the world, and they need a certain amount of supplies to carry out their scheme of, of keeping artificially the prices down. So they're running out of supplies, and one day we're going to come in, and silver is just going to be, it's just going to go, and it's it's not going to look back. And uh, in the blink of an eye, we could be. You know, ten, fifty dollars an ounce, hundred dollars an ounce. I mean, you just pick a price, but we're going that direction because there's such a strong demand and such a very, very low supply right now. Right, and it's impacting not only silver but gold as well. Gold supplies right now are, are also very difficult to get a lot of products. Uh, some of these things are weeks out on delivery at best, and uh, you know, I think that's something we're going to continue to see more strain on. The pricing is going to continue to separate from physical to paper, and uh, we'll see how this plays out. But I think it's going to be very exciting. That's all for today. Please check us out, sbcgold.com. We'll see you next time.